Okay, so here we are in Illustrator with a blank artboard, and I can press keyboard shortcut L to activate the ellipse tool, or I can just go to my tools and hold the rectangle tool to activate all the others buried underneath it, and then you would find the ellipse tool. So if I hold shift and click and drag out, what you see is a gradient that's been already you know, pre-built by me for my fill. I don't have a stroke on there, which is uh, exactly what we're going for. And with my fill selected and my gradient, uh, I'm gonna change one of those sliders a little bit more dark on my right side and just leave that alone. I'm gonna hold Option and drag to my right and release. Now, if I'm on a PC, I could just press um, Alt. So every time you hear me say Option, it's because I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a PC, just remember that would be Alt. So if I press Command, D on the Mac or Control D on a PC, I'm duplicating my last action that I did. So that saves me a lot of time from copying and then dragging it over and over and over. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of those little ellipses that I created and hold Option again on the Mac, Alt on the PC. I'm gonna drag it down right underneath it and release. So let's select everything, press Command D, and I'm just basically creating a whole bunch of those copies. Once I do that, let's select every single thing on our artboard, and I'm gonna just nudge it over a little bit with the Shift and an arrow key just to get it centered for me. Once I do that, I need to go to my effects. Everything is uh, ready to go. We've selected all of our little ellipses, and let's go to Distort and Transform, and then Roughen. Once we go do that, make sure your preview is set on so you can see what's happening. And adjusting the size and detail is basically all that we're doing at this point. So it's really, you know, whatever it is that you, your preference is. I'm gonna change the points to smooth um, just because I'm familiar with this effect and I've seen it. Um, and how that smoothness would be much more beneficial than corners. So let's just leave it at 78 and 73. Again, this is totally you know up to you as far as what your settings would be in this dialog box. So I'm just hitting OK. I'll deselect everything, and you can see on the screen we created some grass really quickly, really easy, and you know just a couple of effects applied to some ellipses we made, and really that was no problem. So if you have any questions, once again, let me know. If not, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.